Hi, I'm Angela Busby. I'm a trainer here at Stuller. And on this segment of How It Works, we're going to show you how to operate an ultrasonic polisher. This is the handpiece. The handpiece plugs in right here. And um, your foot pedal plugs in the back. And of course, you, you plug in your machine. We're going to turn the, the machine on. And you have a series of, of buttons on your display here. You have a unclamp and a clamp button which is to tell you what tool you're using. Uh, if you're using your ceramic stone, you're gonna press your unclamp button, and if you're using the metal attachment that is provided with the machine, you'll press the clamp button. Then you have a series of um, resets, or the foot pedal controller, and then you have your display. Your display is basically gonna show you where your, your um, settings are, and here's your power control button. Now you have watts and you have power. You want your machine to be set on power. So if you press here, it goes to watts. Make sure you're pressing it to the power button. And make sure you're pressing your unclamp button. And then you're, when you're setting your setting, you're gonna hit the reset and it's gonna show you what setting you're at. So I like to work with mine around 19 to 22 and that way it doesn't get too hot. If you're working with it and the handpiece can get a little hot, check your setting. Your control, your power control button might be set a little too high. It can cause your handpiece to overheat or make some terrible sounds that, I mean it's not that dangerous but the sound will annoy you. Um, so make sure your setting is on 19 to 22 and then if you're using the tool that comes with it, the one-piece tool, and you're hitting clamp, you can go all the way to 39 on the setting to work with the metal thing. This is the tool that is provided with it. It is a one-piece diamond wheel, diamond tool. So that would be inserted in your handpiece, and then you change your setting up here. And it's provided with your tools. You have an Allen wrench. so. Um, we use three different ceramic stones with the machine. Um, we use the 800, 1000, and 1200. Um, I suggest the 1200 because it is not as coarse. And of course you would like to use something that you're only willing to remove that roughness. So if you have something that's really, really rough and you're needing to work it and it needs a lot of work, you may want to go with the 800 grit. But uh, like I said, I, I try to stick with the 1200 grit and it's a lot easier to use these tools when you're removing the, the scratches that the machine creates. So the way you're going to change your tool is we're going to turn it off. Turn it off here. And if you use your Allen wrench, you put your tool in, select which one you want. These come in four inches. And I usually break this in three. Uh, you get a lot more use out of it. And if this is too long when it's in the machine, it actually is gonna work itself out. So once you start working with it, it just starts shifting because it's so long and it's not as aggressive if you have it in there too long. So break your the little sections into about three sections and um, place it in there center and tighten it. If you tighten it too tight, it'll overheat and it'll make noise. And if it's not tight enough, it kind of makes noise and lets you know that it's just not tight enough. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and we're gonna start operating the machine. So again, we don't want the foot pedal on, so we want that to be reset. Now we're using just the hand piece without the foot pedal and we're gonna have our display is on and it's on power and we're set at 19. So we're gonna start working this. There's no getting around that sound. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. But if the machine is set too high, then it, it makes an even more aggressive sound. So the good thing about working with the ultrasonic polisher is that if you're working with a round, you can keep the rounds round, you're working on a flat, you keep the flat flat, and uh, you're just basically gonna keep everything nice and crisp, 
and we're going to remove whatever textures on there that we're not wanting. And if I need to sharpen this ceramic stone, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of these uh, blue, it's a uh, sharpening stone. Uh, we sell them here at Stoller. And uh, you can just sh shape it to what you need. If you need it nice and sharp, or you need it half round on one end and flat on the other end, it's just very simple to, to shape. We have removed everything that we would like to remove. We're going to put our hand piece down, and then we're going to go ahead and start with our radial bristles. The radial bristles will remove anything that you have put on there with that ceramic stone. The ceramic stone will leave a, a little scratchy surface, so we want to go ahead and take that scratchy surface off. And we're going to start with the red radial bristle. And we will put that in the flex shaft or your micromotor. Uh, we sell the flex shafts and the micromotor here at Stuller. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this probably midway. And the good thing about the micromotors they do not have the torque that a flex shaft may have, so I really like working with the micro motor. Okay, so we're gonna come in there and we're gonna remove all of that ultrasonic polisher texture that we just put on there. And the good thing about the radial bristles is that they are a rubber wheel, but they're very flexible, so you can get in all of the little nooks and crannies without uh, causing any kind of grooves from the rubber wheel. Um, so they're perfect to use for this kind of thing. And then we're going to change it to the blue rubber wheel. Uh, same thing with these um, radial bristles. You have uh, different grits, and uh, there is a yellow one that I find a little too coarse, so I didn't want to uh, show you that one but I'll use the uh, red one, and then I'll go to the blue one, and it um, it's a nice finish on there with the blue one. All right, so by going over this with the radial bristle, this is gonna make this job a lot easier to polish when we're all said and done.